Hey folks, welcome back. Happy Monday. So, I'm kind of pre-recording this for Monday just so, to make sure you guys have some content. And off camera this morning, I actually figured out how to get a brain in a jar. So what I would like to do in this episode is to see how far we can get finishing up all the Thumbcraft um, research that's still required here. Now, there's a couple things I did do between episodes. I did figure out the quantum um, bridge. It turned out that I just, it was doing some weird behavior next to the bookcase. So I put it over here, and then at the other end of it, I actually didn't have the quantum bridge chunk loaded all the way. Half of it was sitting out, so I think that's why it was causing a blink, and I'm wondering if that's um, maybe what my issue was with the AE network in general before with the blinking is that one piece of it somewhere is unloading. So what I've been doing is building up research points. And you can see we got quite a few Thomcraft fragments ready to go here. Let's go nuts and make sure we got plenty of points and let that start going. And then we're going to make our way through making all this good stuff. Good and wonderful things. I would like to see if we can't finish off the entire Thomcraft book. I have yet to do that in a playthrough. There's just so much stuff. But needless to say, it's quite cool. Let's see, we'll put that up, knock these two down. And you can see this is an absolutely tremendous ton of way to get points. We got 200 water, and that's like one the number one thing that's... I'm running out of always with this method. And as far as the brain in the jar was concerned, what I had discovered is that these researches still exist with the fragments. So you do need to be aware of that when you put them into, oh, what is this? A golem dart launcher. So this is pretty cool. This is a way for a golem to help defend our base if we wanted. So we, we are going to want to do those at some point, I think, but I'm less inclined right now, and I'm more inclined to try and finish up the quest book if we can. So let's take the point and run for right now. In the interim, we are still building up pages. So there we go with that. And for Brain in a Jar... It turns out it was under, I think, Artifice. And once I got that research, it unlocked this guy, Brain in a Jar. And it took me a couple of minutes to complete it. But we're going to need, it's an infusion craft. So we're going to need some Examinus, some Cognito, and some Census. And really what I would like to do here next, okay, is I want to work towards a Golem. I think we got uh, extra Golems here. And we'll use a Clay Golem, I think. Let's see here. Actually, wait a minute now. Let's look at our quest log for just a hot second here. So there's a golem research where we got to make one of each of these. I think let's actually go ahead and finish that up first. I need my golemancy bell. We're going to go over and get a, our golems from the other end of the world here at our golem chop. Where's our bell? And that way, oh, where'd they go? Did that one just like really fall through the world? Oh no, we got two of them. No. I think he disappeared. Oh, no, there he was. Now he's dead, if he was alive. Oh, he's still there. Come here, buddy. Good. He saved you. So he's got... That's a gather golem. And we had a chop golem. Okay. Let's, uh... How do we undo those again? I can't remember. Golemancy. We want to save our cores. Uh, Golemancer's bell. Shift left kicking, picks up the golem, but removes its core and attached upgrades. That's what I wanted to do. Let's go back over to our workshop to do that in case they decide to fall through the world again. And we're going to...
we're going to see about making up all of these golems here. And let's do this. This way I have everything we need. Shift, left click. Removes all the good stuff. And there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and submit some stuff here in our quest book. Because I think if we get the golems all turned in, I'm going to make a golem to handle all my um, stuff here. To handle all the potion moving. So here we go. And this area ain't quite as laggy. We'll turn into wood golem. So I've got one extra. And we need a straw golem next. I gotta look through how to make all of these. Uh, so we're gonna need how many golems in total? For this? One, two, three, four, five more golem cores. Okay, so that's the first thing we gotta figure out how to make again. Are the golem anti cores. So oh we just put this stuff into there. So we need some humanus, modus, and spiritus and the hay bale. Which uh, we need a crafting window here. Wheat. I think the hay bale is like this. Oops. Okay, we'll put that on the side. Uh, so what uh, do we got for choices for Humanus? Uh, where is it? Zombie flesh, okay, we could do that. Zombie. Really? Oh, it's called rotten flesh, that's why. Okay, and what else do we need? Yeah, man. We need, um... Mo okay, so we're going to need Humanus. Oh, wait, I can use the things. Humanus, Modus, and Spiritus. Humanus. Modus. We can do it like this, I think. And Spiritus. Now, the other thing I've been kind of staring at here, which I want to work on. Am I out of rubber, really? Piston? Uh, what's going on here? It's being silly. I need some red nut. Cable. And I want a pressure plate. Sure. We'll use that one. So now one thing has been bugging me with this um, setup right here. So let's go ahead and make this a sticky piston. And, come on, we still got quite a bit of lag over here, which I really don't know what that's all about. But what I want to do is raise this up to, okay, and uh, let me get a thing here, an axe. Wow, look at all those axes. So, if I put a pressure plate here, and if I put my red net cable, does it have to be next to it or attached to the block? I have no idea. Oh. Now I know, and no one is half the battle. Oh, uh, where's our wrench? Connection only mode. And I want that to be there. 
That's going to be my extended piston. Nope. Uh, so we're going to need, let's see here, something like this. So let's get that out first of all. And put the sticky piston there. Okay, so now, do you guys know what I'm doing yet? And I'm going to need a redstone torch. So let's take that out. And I need to come out this way too. And we'll do that. And like so. Not there. Oh, well, come on. Connect to that block. Why? What? Okay, let's see if that does what I think it's going to do. Absolutely not. Does it? Uh, maybe I got to use a different type of stone. That's kind of weird. Well, maybe I could put it to here. Maybe that'll do the trick. Huh. That's not right. Oh, now, now it's connecting like I would have expected in the first place. What's going on here? I must have been clicking the wrong spot. There we go. So now we're on, and when I step on the thing, it should be shutting off. Unless I want to use a wood one for this. Sometimes the wood ones are a little more reliable. Or it actually might need to be that type of connection mode. What's going on here? Come on. Why is it not? That's strange. That should be connecting. Let me get a wood pressure plate just to be safe. And we'll throw some of this. And that and that away. And I can't even hear the sound going off for this. I don't know what's going on here. And that's not connected for some reason.
Well, okay. So this apparently doesn't play well with the knot gate, but we can work on that. Let's get a piece of redstone. Just one. I need it to carry the signal. So let's get that piece of redstone back and figure out, make sure the pressure plate is transmitting. Okay. And let's take this piece. Make sure we're still looking good. Oh, give me a couple more bricks here. What is wrong? That is just like the strangest behavior. There we go. Let's eat a cheeseburger before we really make a mistake here. And we're going to come around the other way, because why not? It's closer. My, yeah, my magnet's on, okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that brick back into place. And I need the redstone torch to be here. And whoops, just for right now, let's leave that here. So now I need the redstone signal to come down like so. Oops. And do that. Why? What's going on here? Oh, we need to... Uh, hang on. I see what's going on. This is a silly redstone mechanic that still exists. It, you gotta be careful how you make the turns. There we go. So what that'll do, folks, is allow me to step to the side after we're done making that stuff and kill the um, taint or whatever you want to call that, the, the foul purple stuff in a hurry. So let's put those cores away for now. That can go. Why am I having such a... Are we full up on material or what? It just doesn't want to go into there? I don't know. Craziness, man. Craziness. So we got that. How much of the other good stuff do we need? Let's put all of this away for now. Give ourselves some room to work here. Gotta have the room to work. The Golem Bancher's Bell can go away. So now I need four of each of those things actually so one two three four one two three four and four followed by a bale of hay and then we're good and close it up 
Move on to the next. Here we go. Let's keep submitting. Next up is a tallow golem. And let's put this up top. Let's bring this one down for now. I should have probably been scanning all these all the way around. So, magic tallow. So I need zombie flesh plus percantio to give me one. Okay, so I need nine zombie flesh and 18 percantio. Okay. Percantio. And nine of these guys. Okay. Seal it up. Stop the madness. And then we need to craft all of this together somehow to make a brick of tallow. And then to make the golem, it's a brick of tallow and eight of the other stuff. Eight of the good things. And like that, like that, and like that. And a brick of the good stuff. Eight, eight, and eight, and that. Give me my golem. Submit. Next up is a stone golem. And this is a stone brick plus four of the good stuff. So we need a brick back. And how much was it? Four of the good stuff, okay. Oh, not those though. Four. Four and four. And we're good there. Manually submit. An iron golem is probably a brick of iron or something. Yeah, block of iron. And this one's a thomium ingot. So we're going to need iron and percantio. Nine times four. So hold on. We're going to need some good amount of iron here. So there's our brick. 18. And we're going to need 36 of the other stuff. And how much did that cost? Nine times four is, yeah, 36 uh, for nine of those. So let's go ahead and get that one ready to go. And, ah, uh, come on. Okay. Looks like we're going to need water before long here. And now we need some other things here. I'm going to need for an iron golem, block iron, and four of each of the good things. So we're going to need one, two, and four. Come on. Okay. We're almost there, and then for the Thaumium guy, it's got to be a block of Thaumium. And eat everything, okay. So let's make our block of Thaumium. And eat everything. Uh, like so. One, there we go. Eight everything. And 
and we're good. Claim reward. We got a oh look at this. look at this. We got a whole mess of wood golems and a heart canister that we don't need. Let's throw some stuff away here. Oh, we got portal. We'll take that one. So let's put the wood gallons back for now. And this stuff. I don't know why this is not importing. We're going to have to go check in a minute. If we're backlogged on stuff, that's kind of bad. And we got a heart. Let's see. So we need moving Ascentia. There's three types of Ascentia tubes. Senshi. Oh, okay. And we're going to need... So let's go ahead and make those. I want to keep working on this as fast as we can. See if we can't make it through the episode here. So I'm going to need a Senshi... Filtered Senshi tube and a Senshi valve. Okay. So that should be up here under alchemy, maybe? A filtered, so I'm going to need an essential too. Quicksilver, iron, glass, and gold. Quicksilver, iron. Let's go ahead and grab a stack of that. Gold. Half a stack of that. Glass. Half a stack of that. I'll make up a bunch of tubes because I'm going to want them in a little bit anyway. Okay. And next up in the list is to get a filtered one is a V filter, gold and silver wood. Silver wood. I might need to go refill our wand here. We'll see. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that quickly. What are we? We're low on all kinds of things, but mostly aqua. Okay. I just so happen to have a bunch of that. Let's top off what we can. Well, we can. Okay, are we doing pretty good here? 100 to most things. Ordo we could use a little more on. Yeah. Okay, looking good. Go ahead and make one of those. So a filter to send you a tube is just this. And manually submit. And what's the other one? An essential valve. We gotta look at that one. Essentia. Where are essential valves? Is it under here? Sent your valve. It's a tube and a lever. Okay, we can do that. We're getting there, folks. We're making pretty solid progress. Okay. Submit. I will take the Golem animation cores, because I'm going to want those in a minute anyway. And the reward back. Oh, lots of stained glass. Okay. Holy moly, Batman. Every kind of stained glass we could have imagined. And then some. Column, we'll put that away. Great wood sapling can go. Lots of this stuff can just go on the side for now. And I don't know... I'm going to really have to go look at what the heck's going on here with the... Uh, 
system because we're backlogging something fierce. Put all of that stuff on the side to get sucked in. I might be out of types. Oh, look at that. Wand of equal trait. Oh, man. What a... That's an awesome reward. Is that a full wand? Oh, baby. I love it. Two Thaumium wands? You kidding me? That's spectacular. An equal trade, that saves me making that one. Okay. We'll put that on the side for now, too. So the next up in the quest is Brain in the Jar. And for that, we're going to need... Uh, let's see. Brain in the Jar is down here under Artifice. So we're going to need some jar. We're going to need a warded jar. I'm going to need Cognito... Examinus and Census. Let's uh, get those beans cooking. Cognito. Census. And Examinus. And then I'm going to want some labels. Three to be exact. Some jars. I could use four. Perfect. Let's just go double check what we got over here so far. Census I might have, I'm not positive. Don't have any of them it looks like, so let's get that cooking. Even if we got some extra, it'll be fine. So now here's how we're gonna do this. Uh, one, two, and three. And you go into there. You go into there. And you, sir, go into there. Let's get our labels placed so we keep the jars picture-oriented. Now... We're also going to need, what else are we going to need for this crafting? We're going to need two spider eyes, a jar, a brain, and a bucket of water. So I'm going to need a bucket. We're going to get two. Spider eye. We'll keep four with us. Oops. Always remember to double everything. Spider eye. So the jar, we don't need to double though. Spider eye, jar, brains. I gotta love those brains. And let's go ahead and fill up those buckets of water. One and two. What did I forget? No, oh, that looks good to me. Those are the four things. We got a wand. And as soon as we get our stuff, we're good to go. We just gotta wait for it to cook. It's funny, we ate all those fragment researches and it's still going. So while we're waiting, let's um, continue to research things wherever we can. I need some census and permutatio. So the thing I constantly need is Victus and Spiritus. It's almost to the point where it's insane. What did I run out of? Water and Terra? No, I got plenty of each. We're going to go for a hundred of this. I wish there was a way now just to click and say, yeah, give me a hundred. So I don't get to click a hundred times. So now we're going to go ahead and make hundred of these guys. Just to get us ahead of the game for a while. Okay, 103. We'll get a hundred more water Victus. And then we'll get like 50 Spiritus.
It's kind of funny, if you look on the screen carefully here, if you can read it, there's uh, 1,200 Perdido in my system. And like, half a dozen of the other stuff. Okay, so we got a bunch of this. So now what do we need for things here? So this one, I need some census and permutatio. Okay, so for permutatio, it's water in that. This one's another one I can, oh, I can always use a ton of modus. And census is spiritus and air. Uh, okay, we got that one done. So that research paid tab is finished. Thaumaturgy, we still need a bunch of other stuff. So now Bestia. Let's see, we're going to need a bunch of this stuff. See if I can't get up to 30 here on both. Probably ran out of modus. And we'll get 30 of these guys. And 30 of these guys should uh, maybe help me finish off most of the wands. Oh, we need ice cubes. Is that a gel or something that's called? Okay, 12, there we go, I think wands are about finished, short of specialty research, now we should be good over here by now I would think, so let's put those two up here for now, or those three. Okay. Let's get ready for some more Tomcraft research. Let's start putting some of these along here. So now I need to do two spider eyes. And I need a water bucket and a brain and a jar in the center. And we'll do the water bucket and the brain. And then we'll wand it. And we'll be ready to go. And it's working it. Lots of nifty stuff. Okay, we're eating the spider eyes up. Do we eat the brain or not so much? Yeah, I think we're good. Oh, we got the bucket back. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. Let's turn it in and let's move onward. Okay, we got a heart. We got a reward bag. And it was a greater one. We got flight potion, okay. That would have been good a little ways ago. Okay, so, Tomcraft. Why didn't this one light up? Maybe I gotta have bounce. So we need blood alchemy. I need an alchemical chemistry set. Alchemical chemistry. Uh, chemistry. Alchemic chemistry set. Okay, so it's a weak blood orb, a brewing stand, and two obsidian. We can do that. 
We got all kinds of the toys. Uh, let's go over here and do that. There we go. There's a quest done. I will take the random reward. Oh wait, no, we got a consume task. Oh, so I need a potion flask, a simple catalyst, and a weak binding agent. Weak. Agent. Binding. Potion. Flask. Let's see if that one counts. Nope. Of course not. And you know what? It's bugging me enough that I want to go check why we're not loading things back into the system here. Just to make sure we're not overflowing at the new base or something crazy. Stupider things have happened. Oh, look at that. I am completely out of room. Oh, Nelly. Uh... Storage. I can't even craft no more. Um. Bum ba dum bum. Alright, so we're gonna need to export some things. Nope. And we're gonna need a processor. We are backlogged for miles. And I'm gonna need a trash can. And, oh wait, I need fuzzy export bus for this. You know what, I got most of this configured already back at the workshop. If I'm smart, I can bring it with us and retain the settings. So this is a nifty trick. I didn't catch on to how I was doing the other day. But if you wrench off these um, buses, they maintain their settings. So what you'll see here is that they all of a sudden say pre-configured. So what I'll do folks off camera is get this stuff taken care of. And we will see you soon. Until then, thanks for uh, tuning in.